Hey guys, so I saw some videos uh, proving that 1 equals 2. So I wanted to point out some mistakes and proofs. And so here we have a problem. And it says find the mistake in the following proof that 1 equals 2. So let's see if you guys can figure it out. So here I'm going to put the steps that I use. And here I'm going to tell you the reason behind each of these steps. Okay, so step 1. I'm going to let A equal B. So this is what's called a given. I'm just giving you that, uh, that knowledge that A equals B. So that's our first step. Our second step, so that means that A squared equals A times B. And that's because we multiply A by both sides. Okay, and here we're going to go to uh, step three. We get a squared minus b squared equals ab minus b squared. And the reason behind this is because I'm subtracting b squared on both sides. Okay, so step four. We're going to do this here, it's a factorization, or factoring this out, equals b, a minus b, okay, so yeah, here we factored both sides, all right, step five, uh, let's see here, so we're going to get a plus B equals B. So the reason behind this is because I divide both sides by A minus B to give me that equation there. Okay, step six, we get 2B equals B. And that's because, I want to say because, a equals B from step one. See step one right there. So that means that we could replace A for B or B for A. And I just replaced A for B. Okay, and now we get two equals one. And the reason why is because I divide both sides by so, did anyone catch where I went wrong here on this proof? If not, I'll show you. Uh, a lot of people would say step four, and some would even say step six. But uh, the actual problem was in step five, when we divided both sides by A minus B. Why? Well... From step one, we said A equals B. So if A equals B, that means that we can replace either A or B with uh, B or A. So we have here A minus B. If I replace it with, if I replace A with B, we get zero. And if we had A minus B and I replace B with A, we get zero. And as we all know, you cannot divide by zero. So uh, step five is where we went wrong when we had a plus b divided by a minus b equals uh, b times a minus b divided by a minus b. We're dividing by zero here. So a minus b equals zero. And we cannot divide by zero. So that ends uh, this video, and yeah, step five is where the error is. Thank you guys, and hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.